In this video, we'll be looking at creepy and bizarre TikToks that will make you question reality. What if I told you the reason we don't live forever is because we forgot that we was all connected? Would you believe me? We are living in something called the cosmic egg, where we all are the same consciousness, we all are the same spirit, but we are living in a reality world where we see each other like we are separate, but we are the same person. We are the same consciousness. We just had different zodiac signs or different personalities, or we might look a little different. So we think that we are different, but there is no difference. We all have a spirit and spirit is the breath of life. So as long as we are dependent on oxygen to keep us alive, we always will be the same. The universe is an egg and a lot of people are actually asleep right now. That's why when someone gets some spiritual knowledge, they say, wake up, wake up. Because once you wake up, you will overstand your true potential. And when you wake up, your egg actually crack and you are given birth or you are being reborn. There's always hidden messages with these religion scripts. By the way, check out the movie Cloud Atlas. They try to explain to the people what's really going on about there is no timeline and there is no separation. We all exist right now because we all that exist. All of us signed spiritual contracts to play this game of forgetting who we really were. But now that contract is over with. We about to remember who we are. The universe is a cosmic egg and we are living inside of it. Or we are living inside of the serpent. Did you know that the universe is really a serpent? Once we activate our chakras, we become gods. Once again, you have to activate your chakras to become a true form of a serpent-like being. And if you pay attention, you notice that all hospitals uses these two serpents. These two serpents are actually rising up your spine. It represents the Kudalini and becoming gods and goddesses or being connected with the universe again. We are shedding our old skin and we are being reborn or so-called waking up into a spiritual reality. This goes back to the Adam and Eve story. They try to tell us a message, but we took it the wrong way. The serpent is really waking us up. There's too much stuff happening in the world right now for any of us to stay asleep. If you don't wake up, the universe will force you to wake up and it's going to be way more difficult. Man, make sure y'all go follow Organic Like Us because we're dropping gems. Can you to sleep what? Eight hours. And so now you got how many left? Sixteen. And then you're supposed to work what? Eight hours. And now you got what left? Eight hours. You haven't cooked. You haven't got dressed. You haven't said hello to the children. Sleep deprivation. That's where they get you. Sleep deprivation. Huh? You haven't watched TV. You haven't called your mother, your children. Sleep deprivation. It's right there. That's why the rich folks, you can't, you better not try to call their house after eight o'clock at night. <clears throat> you work midnight, what they call the midnight shift? Graveyard shift. Graveyard, what graveyard mean what? Death, the cemetery. Death, okay, cemetery. Why? 90 minutes after the sun go down, your brain get recharged. After midnight, the charging stops. If you're not home by midnight, you turn into a what? The nursery rhyme. Pumpkin. What's the only part of your body look like a pump in your head? Mm. Mm. Have y'all seen the Mexican government unbox these alien mummies? This is for entertainment purposes only. What you about to see, all this is fake. Let's pay attention to them doing this unboxing of these alien mummies. Y'all just watch. Do y'all see this? This is the Mexican Congress unboxing these thousand year old mummies, aliens. Little ET phone home. Do y'all see this? Now let's get a better look at what these creatures look like. Okay, I didn't think it was that small. That's like, jeez. That's crazy. Imagine something like that being extremely smart and just flying through these ships, you know, like you wouldn't be able to see that. That's why, you know, there's probably ships that are really, really small, like UFOs that they found that us as humans, we can't fly, but that thing can fly. Do y'all see this? Mexican Congress.
just look at this. Look at this creature. Still a conspiracy, and I still don't believe us. I wonder what it's gonna look like when the US do their unboxing. The alien mummy kinda do look a little crazy though, if you ask me. Let me know what y'all think about this alien mummy being unboxed in Mexico in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. The age of Aquarius is getting real. So do y'all think that was a real alien mummy or a psyop? These are my unpopular opinions about spirituality. Number one, everybody is not a chosen one. Everybody is not a star seed. Everybody's not an indigo child or, or whatever you want to call yourself. These are just terms that people are using to boost their egos. Not everybody. Mm. And not everybody is like this. However, the true so-called chosen ones know that this is not something that they would want to glorify. Number two is angel numbers. Angel numbers are not always good. It can be used as warnings or smoke signals. Number three would be manifestation or the law of attraction. And it works when you are aligned with your higher and lower self. You can't just shut out one part of yourself and say you are ascended or you are ascended master or you are a master manifester. It don't work like that. You have to actually align with yourself in order to attract the things that you want. Number four would be ego death. Your ego. You need your ego. It come with this human experience. What's wrong with you, man? Who keep on talking about ego death? You are literally using your ego to kill off your ego. Mm. And along this process of killing off the ego, you gain a spiritual ego. Coming mm. on to number five would be old soul. Everybody's not an old soul. Some people had to grow up quicker than others. Okay, last one. Crystals do not give you any power that you don't already have. They only amplify your energy. Crystals work with the energy that you put into them. Mm. Those are truly unpopular opinions. This is the ultimate conspiracy theory, according to Joe Rogan. If you're a conspiracy theorist, yeah, this is this is the real conspiracy. The conspiracy is have as many social problems as possible to that people distra get distracted yeah. by, that people concentrate on, whether it's a, a pandemic, whether it's masks, vaccines, pride trans movement drag show, sponsor drag shows for kids if you want people to get mad and want people to get distracted right right sponsor Let them that. focus on that get, get yeah. people to think that it's a good idea to do that and and watch watch the outrage you know get people to think that the oceans are going to be boiling in mm. five years you know right get get people to think that if we don't change it like that was one of the things that greta thurnberg said five years ago that we'll all be dead in okay, five well, years well it's five years later yeah. and we're not all dead so you definitely are wrong and you're yeah. 16 so yeah. why are they flying you out to ukraine <laughs> like what's yeah. going on yeah. so there's these so many of these fucking social distractions that are in our face all day long about everything and i feel like sometimes that's what i feel like about supreme court rulings we're going to take away roe v wade and everybody's like what the fuck what yeah what and that's another one yeah. and then mm -hmm. that one becomes a thing that people identify as the most important problem that they have to solve and while, while all this is going on money's getting moved around decisions are getting made yeah and it, it's a brilliant cover for wild shit yeah because all you have to do ever really is a, is follow the money on anything yeah and you see what's actually happening and everything else is a distraction to that so if you're feeling played right now you should be because division is the ultimate tactic let me know your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to give me a follow if you like the content and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye that's why i don't like watching the news that's why i don't be on social media too much you can be on social media and be distracted from your own personal life you don't want that in all honesty this is for entertainment purposes only Listen to everything Are these this the man that you says. Seen? That's not great. No, but which ones do you see? Yeah, these right here. The small grades have a little they had a mouth. mouth. How do they breathe? They they have nostrils, but they don't. Um, do they breathe oxygen? Yes, they can breathe oxygen. They, they um, the atmosphere on their planet is very similar, but it's a binary star system, so they have like two suns. And which makes the air a lot drier. Their skin is very, their bones are more fragile than ours. But, uh, they kind of, so I can fucking, they kind of look like, like that. Dream they don't want to fuck What's their body look like? Their bodies, well, 
Do they walk around naked? Do they wear clothes? What do they do? Um, yeah, they the duck chicks have boots. How do they on their, on their home <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Now, so they didn't. I'm reading this. This uh, <laughs> That exchange program that, that uh, Steven Spielberg explained at the end of uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind was really close to the. To Draw a female up there and tell them to see if I have Well, I don't know. They look the same. Special comes out How do you tell them all from a female? Yo, oh, you're born. They got, right. They got fun bags? <laughs> no, uh, not from what I mean. So, fuck? a mother. Actually, <laughs> EBE1 EBE is a female. The one, well, was a female. She, she actually. Draw the died. other one. This is the gray. Draw, the, draw all three of them. Do the ghost Because I want to know which one I want. Who are the reptile ones? Which one I have fucked? Who is he talking to? A bunch of teenage kids? Like, th the questions that they asking is just crazy. And then there's we another one, which is species. actually a clone. Like, uh, these things created a on. clone, which looks something similar, mm -hmm. but it and has a large bad dude? pointy nose. They cloned? They have large pointy noses, but they, they but pretty much... <laughs> and you said they live among us, huh? Food? Yeah. <laughs> there was another incident uh, called the... <laughs> And these right here are the tall whites, and yes. they're actually mm -hmm. a clone uh, created by the small greys. To are they Jewish servants? What's the angry? <laughs> what's the angry ones look like? The the reptile ones that you're talking about? Uh, yeah, the fucking bad. The ones that we're gonna be fighting. Yeah. The ones that we're gonna be fighting. Yeah, yeah we actually saw those in uh, Battle LA. Um. They had small eyes in their and, uh, and they cut open their stomachs. And found they got weapons. They, have a heart they're so cool. They have weapons. They're kind of like an onion. Um, Do they have weapons? They have zayers. But it's okay. She's a veterinarian. Are they? Are they evil? Are the alien? The alien ones? Or not? They look like reptiles. Not friendly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is a very bad drawing. But um, they. It's pretty good to me. This is dudes on land and lost, right? Just how tall are those motherfuckers right there? These at? guys right here, yeah. and they have, they're all humanoids, so they mm. both walk on two legs, they all walk on two legs. Well, I don't want to fuck that thing. And this thing right here, the first thing, and they'll go like the fucking first one I thought about. This thing right here is huge. They're, they're actually, uh, they're taller than mm. us. They're, they stand about six feet. Foot something on an average to seven foot. Are they well, like, are they like 230? Or are they like, huge. I don't know, but the, the one image right that now? I have seen of them, they're huge, like, they have a uh, very strong build. Like, uh, but their bones, bones are fragile. No, not those. Dude, this is going on small, in very good place. Well, what's up with the fucking big well, dudes? Like, what's their fucking plan? Like, yeah. like this guy? Yeah. Like I don't know, but they. Know. How do they react? Can they breathe oxygen too? These, yes. But these and these had a, a big, a large war. Okay, who won? Um, these guys, well, no, these guys won. They almost wiped these out, but they had a soft spot. So we should be more worried about the But their was destroyed, so they had to go to Serpo. Well, this guy's got a fucking bunch of motherfucking clones. So How do you know that there was an alien war? Because EBE one said so. I actually watched Star Wars. What the fuck is EBE one? <laughs> it's the four. It's the motherfucking. It's we did the like surviving. a foreign exchange program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we exchanged some humans for some fucking aliens. Have you guys they seen took us back to their fucking planet. They and took they twelve of us. They picked you. If you, <laughs> if you go online and look at under the majestic twelve, and and actually, oh, so President, uh, who was it? Told Steven, Steven Spielberg when, when that movie was made, uh, in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the president told Steven Spielberg that he hit the nail on the head. And pretty much. Because mm. at the end of the movie, you can count them. They send Are these 12 humans in, right? When this asteroid or whatever the fuck's going to go on here pretty soon, are these motherfuckers going to come help us out, or what are they going to do? Uh, well... Nope, this asteroid's supposed to be 2016. 2012. 2012. Oh, December 21st, 2012. The asteroid, that fucking... Okay. The, the, the. okay, there, there was Are an asteroid. Are those motherfuckers going to come help us out? Maybe Jesus okay, was an alien. You know what? They said that that's a very strong possibility. <laughs> some That he wasn't an alien, but he was... Our DNA has been altered 60, 68 times since, uh, since uh, the caveman days. 
So, do you believe in? Je- do you not believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe he was an alien? Do I buy stocks or sell stocks? Because if not, then I'll fucking blow all my money and shit and have a good fucking time. Okay, well, the the thing that they're calling a, an asteroid that's supposed to hit us and yeah. destroy us was actually uh, not an asteroid. It's a spaceship. Mm. <coughs> Holy shit, mm. we're done. It, it's, it is. Uh, it was actually this, a spaceship of the reptilian... Kind. Mm. It's since then. So we're gonna get invaded. No, that's what they were talking about. It's gonna be a ring. But this check is it out. This, all- this is some Samuel L. Jackson, Captain Marvel, Disney Plus type stuff right here. I swear. Look, they be telling us this stuff in the movies. I think all Disney movies got a little bit of truth in them. We probably got people under the water. You know, that's probably why you know they came out with Wakanda Forever, The Little Mermaid, and you know we probably got. Reptilians out here too, probably living in the atmosphere. That's why they came up with uh, um, the little Samuel L. Jackson uh, Cap Nick Fury joint. I forgot what the series is called. Yeah, they're probably living among us, actually. It's just wild. You gotta watch a lot of these movies and stuff with your third eye at all times. Yeah, we have the Avengers. Yeah. Thank God. No, it, where are these <laughs> motherfuckers at? Because if these, these motherfuckers are like within a couple years out, these motherfuckers are nowhere to be seen. What the fuck's going on? Well, that's what we're doing. We're forming an alliance with them. Mm. We, we've actually oh, sent 12 yeah, of our own right. to their planet, and they stayed there for 13 years. How did we get our guys to this? Obama know about it? supposed to be set. I'm pretty sure he knows. I'm, I'm pretty sure all the presidents know something about it. But there's no telling. Make these in life. So, this fucking brown dwarf, or whatever the fuck it's, it is, it's not really fucking. Weinfeld went off to his. He got abducted by aliens, and he's telling us about what's gonna happen when the aliens attack. They were coming to invade us, but they've rerouted. They are now. No, they've rerouted. So what's going on in 2012 now? I don't know. You gotta be up on this shit. You can't just be fucking like. Are y'all really getting late started on his alien abduction? Yes, it's awesome. We're way past that shit. We're next level shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about alien I just want to determine if I should fucking just live live my next two years up. Oh, yeah. Those are the reptiles. Those are the big motherfuckers. Those are the bad ones. Those guys are coming to invade us. Those are the Jewish aliens? Yeah, those are the Serbs. Those are the clones. Actually, they have other clones that they're creating. Uh, that have like heads of dogs, but they only have like three fingers. Three well, that's up. What? So this man, look. What if all the old hieroglyphs and all the old manuscripts that had like these, you know, humanoid figures with heads and stuff? What if that was just like them predicting the future in a way? You know, what if that wasn't something in the past? That's something to come. Oh man, my mind is everywhere right now. Don't leave, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lee, no. They some hot ass bitches and made us in some fucking, yeah. some fucking sluts. Door is closed. <laughs> this is what I wanted to hear. Let's hear <laughs> feedback. <laughs> no, You believe everything that he said? Oh yeah, me too. Definitely. We're gonna go get this story. Mm, they all believe it. Yeah. What do y'all think about that? I mean, they've been saying it all the time. I mean, they just told us it's little grays. It's clones out here. The tall whites is clones. We got the reptilians out here. Who's the mean ones. They probably shape-shifting. And they're trying to form an alliance. Man. And it's probably different kinds of these people, too. Like, say, for instance, right? If, you know, some, some, some humans went to another place, right? Where some non-humans were. And... We said, oh, we want to form an alliance. Yeah, we're the human race. So those people think that we're the only only humans, right? The small percentage that went there. But there's all different types of humans here. So they might have just got the American humans. But you still got these ones over here in South America. That's different than these ones. The ones in Asia, the ones in Africa. The, you, you know what I'm saying? And they all got different agendas. So, man, that's just crazy, ain't it? Let me know y'all thoughts on that in the comment section. If you remember any of these photos, it's safe to say you're getting those memories from your alternate self inside an alternate universe because they never existed here.
Do you remember? I don't remember Mr. T dying. Identity theft didn't happen. That's a movie, right? Uh, that it not that had to have happened. Y'all remember any of them photos? I mean, I remember just about every one of them. What's going on with September 23rd and why are so many people freaking out about this day? People That's are tomorrow. thinking that September 23rd is gonna be like a catastrophe or it's gonna be a really bad day. And I'll tell you why. For starts, September 23rd is mentioned and referenced to in a lot of movies. Like in Little Shop of Horrors, this is the day that Audrey comes down from space, Seymour finds her and she feeds on human blood. In the movie Sleepy Hollow, this is the day that the ghost portal opens up and people start being haunted by ghosts and the Headless Horseman. In the movie The Ghostbusters, this is the day that the ghosts start coming out of the portal too. In the movie This is the End, this is the day the rapture begins. Yeah, we about to see something tomorrow. Something about to open up one of these portals or some we about to go to Tomorrowland. This is also the date that everything changes in the movie Tomorrowland. In the movie Pandemic, this is the day the pandemic starts. There's also a movie called The Number 23 that is specifically based on the number 23. Number 23 is an enigma. It has so many different meanings. It's constantly mentioned in books, movies, and conspiracy theories. Number 23 is so commonly feared that there's actually a fear based on the number 23. It's called Icosithriophobia. I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. What? So if you know how to pronounce it, help your girl out. I figured if September 23rd comes around once a year and it's such a bad day, then there has to be oh it's because it's 2023 maybe that's why people are so afraid because we're getting 9 23 23. i did look to see if anything major has happened in the past on september 23rd and this is what came up nintendo was founded billy the kid got arrested for the very first time after stealing clothing the jetsons premiered for the first time on tv i'm pretty sure that we all still need to pay rent and go to work <laughs> hmm Maybe that's why Jordan wore number 23. Everybody was scared of him, too. Uh-oh, y'all see that? He, like, ducking something. Which I think was in that cup. Well, of course, if you, if you want to wait and see if a side effect shows up, uh, that takes two years, so... We've taken another step towards a cashless society. A big bank has confirmed customers in some locations can no longer withdraw money over the counter as branches continue to wind back services. It's up there with... I'm about to go to the bank today, y'all. Uh, gonna make me a withdrawal <laughs> because I do not want this to happen. Just imagine that you wake up and you can't get your money. Or you go try to swipe your card and it's declined and then they say you can't use it. Nah, the I ain't ready for with that. no beer, the bank with no cash. ANZ has confirmed some branches no longer handle cash at the counter. Others are directing customers to smart ATMs for cash transactions. The latest figures on ATMs shows the number of machines has more than halved from almost 14,000 back in 2017 to around 6,000 in the middle of last year. For years, cash was king. Not anymore. Hello there. I wondered if you had any change for a fifty dollar note. No, I don't have any cash. <laughs> don't use cash anymore these days. No, definitely not. No change at all. Never. Never. Not having cash is much more convenient. For the first time since dollars and cents were introduced in the nineteen sixties, Australia's cash supply is shrinking. We are becoming fully digitalized. We're still producing cash out there, but we're just becoming more reliant on other ways to pay. And this is what you would expect. In fact, it's a trend that's long been in the People should not be afraid of their guy. Uh, I'm at the point where I really think my dog Wayne has so long. Like, uh, he got a he got a song on Make Way. Right? Type in Make Way. Birdman, Lil Wayne, Make Way. Fat Joyner in the beginning. 
boy say, me a Babylon gangster, Holly Grove monster. Now, back in the day, I heard that Babylon was in the Bible, but I ain't too much pay that more attention. You know what I'm saying? Young man, I'm about to touch dirty. I know what Babylon is. This nigga say, me is a Babylon gangster, Holly Grove monster. What the fuck? Then, then you got to think about this right here. This nigga, this nigga also got one way he talk about the new world order. Like, uh, I go harder, uh, something like the new world order, uh, cut your head like a barber. I think that the might the song called Mike Check One Two. Look that up. I'm gonna put it on here. You heard me? I'm gonna put it on here. Yo, I remember these songs. Look, back when I was in high school, these Wayne mixtapes was like all everybody was playing. And we had like little MP3s and stuff, so I didn't never really see the cover art. But now looking at this cover art and hearing exactly what this song is saying, come on, man. And Wayne ain't been the same since. Look at the cover he holding a little baby talking about. I'm going to eat you alive because I'm a monster. Oh, my God. The man really got a song called Satan's Kid. He got another song, I can't think of it, dog. But he was like, man, if I go to hell, I'll fuck around and take over that bitch. It's one of them. I think it's on Carter too, man. I think it's the hottest rapper under the sun. Mm -mm, somebody gonna die tonight. I think it's that bitch. But look, I'm about to play what I, I'm about to play y'all just off the head. Like, this is just off the head. This is not me thinking about it or nothing. This is just off the head. Watch this. I ain't gonna lie, that dude cold, son. That shit evil, but son, that dude is cold, dog, son. <laughs> Nigga, this Wayne in his prime, dog. Nobody touching Wayne in his prime, dog. But when you really go back and listen to it, son, it's like, son, that shit sound cold, but what the fuck was he saying, son? Like, peep this up. my children don't have kids do i want to be a grandmother absolutely i look forward to it i can't wait but knowing what i know now about the world and the satanists that roll it rule it and control it and work for satan who has dominion over this earth until christ's return it's literally told to us in here mm. so it's like you know they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do and i'm gonna love every grandbaby but, my God, if they only knew, which I am educating them, the trafficking and the horror and everything that controls everything. Sadly, my suggestion to all of you people who do not have children or only have one or two, stop. Don't have any kids. It's an evil world. The worry is real. Okay. It is a little difficult and a little bit scary raising children in this world today. I ain't gonna lie, you know. But I'm not gonna tell my children not to have children because I do want to be a grandfather at one point in time in my life and I do want them to experience the life that I'm experiencing because being a parent is just one of the greatest joys of my life. Stop! We're unbalanced! It's not fair! Hmm. For unbalanced, I'd like to call fair. to order this secret conclave of America's media empires. We are here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions, too terrified to skip mm. the commercials. Well, I think NBC, you are here to listen and not speak. Mm. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health scare. Uh, yeah. yeah. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. That oh. is so Now, I hate to be the guy who derails what everybody else loves. He loves being that guy. But, Janice, we do have standards. This can't be a made-up disease. The moral thing to do is release a deadly virus into the general public. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Get over here, NBC. Uh, well, well, we certainly mm. believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, we've got our deadly disease. Now, we just have to blame it on something that's in every household. Something that 
people are a little bit afraid of already. It's conspiracy theory, maybe tomorrow. Yo, I gotta watch the rest of that episode. I ain't gonna lie, because I want to know what he was gonna say next. Like, what they're gonna blame it on. The Simpsons always do it. We just gotta watch The Simpsons, y'all. If you wanna know what to look out for, just watch The Simpsons. Truth. Listen to me. It's the water. It's the water. It's the fucking water. It's the mm. water. That lady been telling us water. It's the fucking water. Think about it. Stay fucking with me. They say outer space is way the fuck up there. Think outer space is in the fucking water. It's in the ocean. That's why they say outer space go infinity and beyond. It's because the ocean goes infinity and fucking beyond. And that's why 70% of the fucking ocean ain't been discovered. Because it's fucking outer space. They said when that man had went to the moon and he went there and he was fucking walking like that. Y'all know how he was walking? It's because it's fucking underwater. The fucking flag moving is because it's under fucking water. You know, make some fishes move, some shit move, just some waves move. It's gonna make the fucking flag move. And then the fucking footprint, the footprint. If out of space, they don't got no fucking gravity, how the fuck they leave a footprint? It's because if you take anybody into the water and you go down enough and there's fucking sand there, you can fucking stump your foot in there, but you can write your name in that shit. Listen to me. <laughs> it's the water. This is how they've been getting us we need water for everything dealing with a person these people got us figured out all the way down to sales Think about this shit water they made people afraid to get into the water take it back to ancestors times y'all they was like literally torturing women you know what i'm saying when they was into the water how do you think so many people is afraid to get in the water because if we can make you afraid enough of this shit you won't have no type of desire no fucking interest to go into the water to go look into the fucking water i'm telling y'all this shit is a little creepy this shit is a little crazy because we need water for everything you fucking water your crops um you bathe in water you cook and water you drink water water isn't everything damn near that we need to survive and even if you cut meat and lettuce and whatever the fuck else out of your diet and you go on a liquid diet you still fucked you know why because it's in the water most of these people be coming up under my shit saying i don't drink water i drink soda i drink kool-aid i drink lemonade cool but you know what but most of that is it's fucking water Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, that's why the bottom of that rocket ship had fucking fire. Because did y'all know that fire can still live underwater and on top of the water? Like, and it can grow? Like, have y'all not seen the TikTok videos of, like, the earth right now? Like, what's... Y'all ain't been paying attention to the water. They tell you everything in the movies, mm. right? So when you go to conspiracy TikTok or woke talk, they'll tell you, like, they have to tell you everything in the movies. Well, to a degree, I've always believed that, but... If y'all haven't seen They Clone Tyrone yet, you should, because it is definitely the sleeper of the year. The Barbie movie came out and eclipsed everything, but it really should have been They Clone Tyrone, because that movie, after you watch this movie, you will never again eat fried chicken. You may not even listen to hip hop music, at least not the hard shit, and you will definitely not be, um, you will not look at the world the same way. I promise you. Now, if you're already seasoned and you already get this stuff, it, all it does is confirm everything you already know, but in an interesting way, because there's plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. The biggest one to me being what happened to Jamie Foxx in real life. Check it out. Anyway, so uh, after you watch it, get back to me. Let me know uh, how that uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken is tasting. Mm -hmm. Or Popeyes. Or Chick-fil-A. That part especially got me. Alcohol. Grape juice. Yeah, they'll get you with this one. I promise. You have been lied to all your life. Dinosaurs did not exist. Let me explain why. Reason number one. Asteroids have been hitting our Earth since the beginning of human existence. How come we are still alive? But supposedly one of the strongest and most powerful creatures to walk on the Earth went extinct? Reason number two. The fossils of the dinosaurs were not complete. Think about it for one second. 
the scientists used their own imagination to form the dinosaur. Exactly. Reason number three. No ancient civilizations or holy book ever mentions dinosaurs. There isn't one trace of written historical evidence for dinosaurs. Mm. And you might ask, why would the government lie to you? Simple. To see how much propaganda the common people will take. This would allow the government to know how much control they really have over the people. I will be exposing more lies the government have been telling you in my upcoming videos. Follow me to stay tuned. So dinosaurs ain't real and he was going crazy on that subway surfer. I ain't going to stunt. These are some of the most bizarre TikToks that are out there, y'all. Tomorrow is September 23rd, so keep your eyes on the sky. You never know what you might see. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. And until next time, YouTube, peace.